Good morning. Now about the possessive adjectives in Wolof, the possessive adjectives. Uh, right to start um, in the singular form. Summer. Summer. Sa. Sa. And the third person singular, you have a dash and am. Sama, sa, am. What this mean? What this means is that you have the noun and then the possessive structure. For example, when I say his mom, I'm gonna say ya yam. Mom is yai. His mom. Ya yam. We will see more clearly in the examples. But as a way of introduction, sama my sa yo am for his, her, and its. Sama sa am. Sunu Sunu Sen Sen Sunu Sen Sen. Now don't be confused by this. The same for your and the same for their. There is no they they're similar but they're not the same. So usually a context helps you to differentiate between whether it's your or their, but usually there is there is no uh, there's no confusion, I guess, at least in the experience I have had with a lot of students. Sunu sen sen. But most of the time I try to to be a little bit playful with these structures and we've tried with some students to, to have it like a song for example Sama sa am sunu sen sen Sama sa am sunu sen sen well it may not make sense but a way to help people remember Sama sa am sunu sen sen Sama sa am sunu sen sen again this means my your, his, her, our, your, their, in the singular form. Again, sama, sa, am, sunu, sen, sen. Sama, sa, am, sunu, sen, sen. Now let's have me examples. Sama, yai. Sama, yai. My mother. Sa yai. Sa yai. Sama yai. Sa yai. Now, what I was talking about the third person singular for his or her or its, instead of saying am yai, it's ya yam. Ya yam. Now, ya yam means his mother, also can mean her mother. This is uh, one thing I was talking about I think with the independent subject pronouns the gender neutrality of some patterns in Wolof. One of them is the third person singular and this kind of come in a lot of examples. For example his mom is the same as her mom in the structure because am refers both to his and her. This is a gender neutral pattern. So yayam his mom, yeah, I am her mom. Still about the examples. Sunu yai, our mother. Remember, these are exa examples in the singular form. We will see later in the plural form. So, sunu yai, our mother. Sen yai, your mother. Sen yai, their mother. Again, this usually the same, the difference between both of these sen is usually in the context. In the way they are written, you can they can both mean your and their. Sunu yai, sen yai, sen yai. Again, sama yai, sa yai, ya yam. Sunu yai, sen yai, sen yai. So that was with uh, the singular form. Now with the plural form, what I mean by here 
What I mean here with by the plural form is that, for example, in English, when I say my mother, that's singular. When I say my mother's, well, technically nobody has two moms. Well, in some context, anyway. Let's say my children, that's a plural. The difference is that in Wolof, that plural mark is not going to be on the noun. It's going to be on the possessive adjective. The plural of the possessive adjective my in Wolof is samai. We will see in the examples more clearly, but here are they in terms of introduction. Samai, sai, then a little bit of difference here. I and the noun and am. For example, I dal lam. His shoes or her shoes. So the different the hyphen you have here or the dots you have here, that's where you have to put the noun. I dal lam. His shoes or her shoes. Am um, is the mark of the possessive and I is the plural. So samai, sai, and I for his or her or its. And this is the plural form. Sunui, our, sunui, and seni, seni. Both your and there, but it has to be in the plural. Again, samai, sai, ai, am, sunui, seni, seni. Now, to be clear and maybe more practical about the examples, let's see here what we have. Samai dal, my shoes. Samai dal, my shoes. Now, here is what I was talking about. You still have the structure of the possessive sama which is my, since it is in the plural form, now see the difference. The structure of the plural in Wolof is on the possessive adjective. In English, it's on the noun. That's a big difference to really pay, bear in mind. So the structure of the plural here in Wolof is not on the noun. The noun is here, dull, no. It's not on there, it's on the, 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 the possessive adjective. Samai dal. My shoes. Sai dal. Again, you have it here. Sai dal. Sai. And then the plural here in English is on shoes. Sai dal. Ai dal lam. Samai dal. Say dal, I dal lam. The word dal, as you see, means shoes or shoe. Sunui dal, sunui, sunui dal, our shoes. Seni dal, seni dal, your shoes. Seni dal. Seni dal. Their shoes. Again, the possessive adjectives in the plural. Samai, you add y to sama. Sai, you add y to sa. And the third person are usually very different. So, ai dalam, where you have to incorporate the noun before the possessive mark the possessive mark samai sai ai sunui seni seni again to to recapitulate very quickly so in the singular form you have sama sa am sunu sen sen sama sa am sunu sen sen and in the plural form, you have samai, sai, ai, the noun plus am, 
Sunui Seni Seni. Uh, thank you very much and see you next time.